Patrick's on the right track when he says he would repeal cap and trade. Cap and trade is a terrible policy. It would send billions of dollars out of Ontario to Quebec and California. Um, actually, two point two billion by twenty thirty. Uh, it also would lead to the create. It has led to the creation of a large bureaucracy, and it drives up the costs of just about everything. Um, Patrick wants to repeal that. Where he goes wrong is when he says he wants to bring in what he calls a revenue neutral carbon tax. Right. Uh, revenue neutral carbon taxes don't exist. They tried that experiment in British Columbia, and it cost taxpayers six hundred million dollars. Okay. Um, you know- Here's the thing. I, I've had some fights face to face, not just, uh, you know, because I editorialized about it. I've had some fights face to face with Patrick Brown about this. I'm very disappointed. I told him to start acting like a conservative instead of a liberal. I'm going to go out on a limb here and see if I can find a political reason he might be doing it. And it might be that he doesn't want to fight um, the environment in the next election. He wants to narrow it down to hydro, 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 which for people around the country that aren't in Ontario is the hot issue, uh, hydro prices in Ontario, and that he doesn't want to be able to be distracted. So he's just going to say right now that he has this uh, carbon tax plan. Yeah. So the thing is, even if it's a tactical decision to campaign on a pro-carbon tax policy, uh, it's a poor tactical decision. We commissioned a poll, a scientific poll done by Nanos Research, and we found that 58% of people are less likely to vote for a politician who proposes a carbon tax that would be a straight surcharge on gasoline and natural gas. That's the kind of carbon tax that Patrick Brown has proposed. And 58% of people are less likely to vote for him because of that. Uh, It's not as unpopular as cap and trade, where 60% of the population is opposed. But if it's a tactical decision to run on a carbon tax, it's a bad tactical decision because it's not just unpopular, it's also bad policy. 